County leaders are going over their top priorities for the year during their annual retreat, talking about affordable housing, greenways, and this year's upcoming Republican National Convention. Our government reporter Joe Bruno is live in West Charlotte, and on one thing, Joe, you said they talked about is their response if there's any kind of a crisis during the RNC. Yeah, they've been developing this crisis management plan for a while, but the county manager says she wanted to get it in front of the commissioners before the Republican National Convention. It's important to note that this plan is not specific to the RNC. It covers everything from cyber attacks to protests and natural disasters. The county worked with two consultants to develop the plan, and the main focus is on communication. Depending on how severe the crisis is, the county's response to it will be escalated. Many commissioners see their role as amplifying the county's message and delegating to staff. Leaders are preparing for all situations and are glad to receive risk management training ahead of this major event that will bring tens of thousands of people to the city. We really want to make sure that the board, you know, understands what our approach is going to be and how we're going to manage through the, through the event and how we'll respond if we need to. Given the fact that we had this training today, it kind of helps put us in the right mindset of what to anticipate and how to respond to it. There may be a budget component to all of this in the future, looking at ways to beef up IT security and other areas that may be targeted. Scott. All right, Joe, not only talking about the RNC there today, also focusing on the real spike in violent crime last year as well. Yeah, the county health director said that she believes it's a public health crisis, this rise in violent crime. But when she was asked whether or not the county's response is similar to a crisis, she said probably not. So commissioners really want more urgency here. They want more programs in place that will really treat this as the escalated issue that it has become. Scott. All right, our Joe Bruno live tonight. Thank you, Joe.